The proposed Ford electric vehicle battery plant is one step closer to becoming reality tonight. A proposed land transfer for the site of the future plant was on the agendas for board members in both Marshall Township and the city of Marshall. News 8's David Horak was at the meeting in Marshall Township and he joins us live tonight with more. David. Good evening, Michelle and Brian. To break this down, in order for the Ford battery plant to become a reality, Marshall Township has to sell four groups of property to the city of Marshall. The first group was already completely successfully transferred to the city. The city voted tonight on whether to approve group number two, and then that leads us here to Marshall Township, where tonight group three was on the agenda. The property in question sits along Michigan Avenue and 13 Mile Road, most of them vacant. And we're going to combine that with a public hearing on the proposed uh, 425 land transfers. During public comment, those supporting the plant included local and state economic groups, but also union leaders and a couple of Marshall residents. They argue it'll help bolster jobs and revenue to the area. Lifelong resident, uh, I feel that the uh, battery plant, the high technology that we have in this plant, will help position us in southwest Michigan to be a supplier in this rapidly growing industry. The Blue Oval Park will make Marshall a magnet for billions of dollars of new capital investment, and that will help fund road improvements and infrastructure projects. For those of us in construction and the skilled trades, we're excited to welcome the good jobs of the state and the good jobs at the Blue Oval Battery Park. Um, Michigan facility, which will put our state in a position to lead in the development of electric, electric vehicle technology and batteries. But area residents made up most of the public comment against this site. They said there was a lack of transparency from the board, concerns with the battery manufacturer's alleged ties with the Chinese Communist Party, and environmental concerns from possible runoff from the site, claiming that Ford has a reputation with creating Superfund sites. I do not object to the building of a battery plant. I object to you building it here, on this river, I would gladly support it on any other property that's appropriate within Marshall Township or Calhoun County, but not this place. Wherever Ford goes, they create and leave a mess. Got to think about that. What's going to happen out here? Every plant that produces anything has got a byproduct. Where are they going to dump it? What's it going to be? They don't even tell you. By a vote of four to one, the land transfer on the township side was approved. However, Supervisor Dave Bosser, the lone no vote, said there needs to be a township town hall where Ford and overseeing state agencies like the MEDC need to directly answer questions and concerns from residents, especially those living near the site. Anybody that lives close by here are really affected by this and others, you know, you're kind of you know, it doesn't really bother you when you live and you can't see it. No word yet on what the town, when the township town hall will take place. Meanwhile, tonight, the city of Marshall had their meeting and they unanimously approved receiving completely uh, or completing the transaction of the land transfer from the second group. So groups one and two are six, uh, are completed. And that means the city has to vote on whether to complete the transaction for the third group. But as far as when that is going to be uh, on the table for the city side of things and when Marshall Township will uh, put on their on a future agenda the fourth and final group of property all of that is yet to be determined we're live in Marshall Township David Horak News 8